We just need to... Hey guys, this is Steve with Tronics Fix. Today we're gonna be testing the noise and the temperature on the Xbox One X, and then I'm gonna show you how to make it quieter and cooler. So the first thing we need to do is actually play the console to get it warmed up, so I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna play it for about 20 or 30 minutes, test the temperature and noise, and then we'll do the upgrade and test it again. There we go, we're at 29 minutes of playing. So I'm going to test the noise first. 60.2 decibels is the max for the noise. Now we're gonna test the heat. And the maximum heat is 114 degrees Fahrenheit and 45 degrees Celsius. Now that we've got those measurements, we're gonna get it torn down. We're gonna put some liquid metal in place of the thermal paste. Then we're gonna start it up and test it again and see how it does. And now we have our Xbox One X torn apart. We've got the clamp removed so we can get the heat sink off. And for that, we just need to I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I would never do that. A good rule of thumb is never use reciprocating saws on game consoles. It just, you just, it just pulls off just like that, that's all. So we're gonna clean off the old thermal paste. So I'm gonna clean all that off and then I'm gonna install the liquid metal. So we have instructions, we've got a little scuff pad, some Q-tips, rubbing alcohol. Now we're ready to apply the liquid metal, so I'm gonna get you guys zoomed in so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna be using the included cleaning wipes. We're just gonna go over it like that and we will clean that very nicely using the other side. There we go. Now I'm gonna go over it with the Q-tip just to make sure that is completely dry. And the heat sink, we're gonna completely dry that. Now we'll be using some silicone conformal coating and that is gonna go on all these little chips around here. And this just ensures that if the liquid metal flows off of the main chip, that it doesn't come in contact with any of these small chips. Now that we have that done, we're gonna let that dry. And while that's drying, we're gonna go ahead and plot apply the liquid metal. With the cool laboratory liquid metal, you can see that the tip of this needle is actually very sharp, so it's actually a needle. The thermal grizzly liquid metal that we used, it doesn't actually have a needle there, so it's kind of intimidating. So we're gonna push very gently. We need a tiny, tiny, tiny drop. It is coming out, you can see. Okay, so we're gonna see if that's enough. Now you can use Q-tips. You can even use a glove that has a, like a latex type glove. That works fine. So we just need to spread this evenly throughout the face of the chip. And now I know that I can use Q-tips for this when I did my PS4 Pro liquid metal. I wasn't sure if that was something you could do or not. Apparently it is. And so I wasn't able to spread it quite as good as this. And you guys roasted me for that. So this is how you actually need to do it correctly. And it looks like I might possibly need a tiny bit more. We're gonna put just a tiny bit more on there. Okay, we got a little bit on there. There we go. There's quite a bit that you can see that soaked up into the Q-tip. So, there's some on there. You can see I accidentally went off of the chip just a little bit, but that will be okay, because we can clean that up. Okay. Looks pretty good on that surface. Here we go. 
Whoa, that is way too much. So when that happens, all we're gonna do is just suck it back up. Just like that. And that's as far as we're gonna take it on the actual heat sink. We're gonna call it good and get it reassembled. Now for this part of the reassembly, there's nothing really special you have to do. We're just gonna make sure we get all the holes lined up. And then we just press it down. And the instructions specifically say, don't be moving it around or sliding it around, just put it directly on top. And then we'll just clamp it down and I'll get the rest of it reassembled. Now we have our Xbox One X reassembled. All we gotta do is turn it on and make sure it works. Just kidding. It's not plugged in yet. I can't believe you guys thought it wouldn't work. Now let's try it. Now that we got it started up, I'm gonna play the same game for about the same amount of time and we'll see what the heat and the noise levels are. All right, and now we've been playing for 33 minutes, a little over 33 minutes. I wanted to give it a little bit extra time because the fan was definitely quiet, quieter during this. So I'm gonna mute the TV here and then we're gonna do our decibel reading. 42.6 is the highest the decibel meter got. Now let's check the temperature. 